This is a $15 HDMI video capture device which doesn't have a brand name but is it as good as every other capture device in the market and what can you do with it? Well, let's find out. This video is sponsored by us, so if you like our content and would love to support the channel, please head over to teesprings.com forward slash stars forward slash LMTechHD or click on the first link in the description box below to be a part of the Wemo squad. Thanks. What's up guys, I'm Ryan from LM Tech HD and on this channel we do a lot of tutorials slash tech reviews and giveaways so if you're new here, please consider subscribing and also be sure to click the bell notification so you get notified whenever a new video drops. Thanks. Alright guys, so I've been seeing this cheap HDMI video capture devices floating around the internet so I thought I should get my hands on one of them just to check it out and after using this little guy for a while, I must say, wow, I'm impressed. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the things you can do with this. But before that, let's check out what's in the box and take a closer look at the device itself. Alright guys, so the one I got came in this grey and brownish looking kind of box. And if you can't tell already, these devices do not have a brand name. It just says HDMI video capture on the box as well as on the device. And at the back of the box, you can find the features of the device. Now I've seen this go for about $30 to $50, but I got mine for 900 Indian rupees, which is about $13 or so on Amazon. In. Now link to this device will be in the description. I have actually seen this same device go for $10 on AliExpress as well so I guess it depends on where you are buying from. Anyways let's see what's in the box. Now this is not the first unboxing cause obviously I've used this device a couple of times but just pretend as if it is. Thanks. Okay so the one I got came with a warranty card and it's quite surprising though but it's pretty cool. It also comes with a user manual in English and Chinese. And you can see the OBS setup process for capturing video feed from your camera. And the last thing in the box is the device itself. Now for the price, I must say this thing is built like a tank. It feels like a premium device and I have used the Elgato Cam Link before and I can safely say this thing has a better build quality. Now on top of the device, you have this large HDMI video capture text and on the left, you have the HDMI in and USB out on the right. So with that out of the way, let's go over the specs real quick. The device supports a max input resolution of 3840x2160 at 30Hz. Now this is a USB 2.0 device with a max output resolution of 1920x1080p at 30 frames per second. I know on some websites they state it supports up to 1080p at 60fps and even 4K at 30fps guys, that is not true. However, it can accept a 4K signal and scale it down to 1080p. Now something very important you should take note of is that this device is a plug and play device. That means you don't have to install any software to use this device. You can just hook it up to any USB 2.0 port and you're golden. The device is compatible with Windows operating system as well as Mac OS. Okay guys, let's check out some of the things you can do with it. The first thing we're gonna be looking at is video capture from a camera. So here we are going to be looking at how you could use the device to send video signal slash feed from a camera to your computer for live stream or zoom calls. Okay so the camera I'm going to be using is the Canon XA15 which is a camcorder that has mini HDMI out. So I'm going to be using a mini to full size HDMI cable to hook up the camera to the capture device. Alright so first thing I'm going to do is to hook up the mini HDMI cable to the camera. Next, I'm going to hook up the other end of the HDMI cable to the capture device. And finally, I'm going to hook up the capture device to my tablet and launch OBS. 
in OBS, I'm going to create a new scene and I'm going to name it camera and click OK. Now with camera selected, I'm going to create a source by clicking the plus button on that sources and select video capture device. I'm just going to name it video and click OK. Alright, now what you're seeing is the rear cam on my tablet. So under devices, I'm going to switch to the other camera on my tablet. Just to show you the difference between using the capture device and the camera as compared to a webcam. Alright, I'm going to switch to the capture device now. Wow, this is way better than the webcam for sure. Okay, so down here you could make a few changes if you want by selecting custom and change the resolution to maybe 720p as well as the frame rate. Anyways, I'm gonna leave mine as device default and click OK. So here you could adjust the size of the video if you plan on streaming a game like those Twitch streamers do. And um, if you are planning on streaming an event, you should leave it as it is. Now to get your video and audio in sync, I'll suggest you hook up your microphone to your camera as the device also sends audio along with the video. Alright, let's see how to set it up for Zoom meetings. Simply go to settings and click on video. Select the device and uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and um, if you are going to be using an external microphone, then I would suggest you hook up the microphone directly to your camera and click on the audio tab in Zoom. And under microphone, select the device and you should have a better audio and your video and audio will be in sync. But if your microphone is hooked up directly to your PC, then you can still find it here. However, the audio and video may not be in sync. So please take note of that guys. Next thing we are going to be looking at is how you could use the device to capture other computer screens or consoles. Hey there, if you are getting value out of this video, then do me a favor by hitting the like button, subscribe if you are new around here, and if you are feeling generous, then go ahead and share it with your friends as well. Thank you. Now, question of the day, what capture device do you use? Let us know in the comment section below. So here we're going to see how we can capture other device screens such as computers, tablets, and consoles for live stream or screen sharing on Zoom or any other platform. But in this video, I'm just going to capture my PC screen with my tablet using the capture device. Now you could follow the same steps to capture your console or tablet screen as well. So basically what I'm going to do is hook up one hand of my HDMI cable to my PC's graphics card and the other hand of the HDMI cable to the capture device and hook up the capture device to my tablet and launch OBS. So just like before, I'm going to create a scene and name it PC. And with PC selected, I'm going to create a source by clicking the plus button under sources and select video capture device and name it HDMI and click OK. And under devices, I'm going to select the video capture device. Now just like before, you could go to resolution slash FPS type and change it to custom and select the resolution and FPS you want, but I'm going to leave mine as device default and click OK. Alright, if the window is not covering the entire scene, simply right click on the scene and go to transform and select fit to screen or control F and that should fix it. Now you can use OBS to record whatever you're doing on the other PC including the boot up process, BIOS and even Windows installation. I've already made a step by step guide on how to capture your BIOS windows so you can check it out by clicking the info button or the second link in the description. Okay guys, I'm pretty sure you can come up with other ways you could use this device and remember links to everything used in this video will be in the description box below. And if this video was helpful to you, then go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, drop a comment, share it with your friends and also be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff at LMTechHD02. And if you would like to support the channel, then head over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash LMTechHD or click on the first link in the description box below. We have more videos coming your way, but for now, we maxed out. Peace.